Hello everyone and thank you for joining me in this classic movie reaction. So yeah, I know I took forever, blah, blah, blah. Let's skip that part where I apologize and let's go straight to business. So my last classic movie reaction was uh, It's a Wonderful Life. I loved it. I cried like a little girl. Uh, but you know what? I don't care. I loved that movie. So I made a poll a couple of months ago where I gave you guys two choices. It was either 12 Angry Men or The Searchers. Now, some of you probably know why I chose The Searchers. Of course I did, because, I mean, look at that. Of course I was going to watch The Searchers. So I am finally here. I already got my movie ready on my screen. I, was, I finally have a screen on my room. I don't have to keep watching my series on my old canoe. I finally have a screen and everything seems so beautiful now. And I have one confession to make. This is my first John Wayne movie that I am going to watch. Don't get me wrong. I know him. I even imitate him when it's necessary. But I have never really seen a movie. I've seen a lot of clips and I've seen a lot of things about him. But I think this is the first movie I'm going to watch of the man. I am sorry. Forgive me. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm Mexican. We watch a couple of Westerns, but we had our own Películas de Rancheros, and they were f***ing awesome. No le saque, si le saco, o se acabó este cantar. They made us laugh, they made us cry, they made us sing, they made us be ashamed of ourselves, but, you know, that's our heritage. For this movie, I got my classic popcorn ready, I got my iced tea ready, Flash is here with me, uh, he's down on the floor, and I'm pretty sure Robin is going to join us in a couple of minutes to take her place in the big throne. In the meantime, I am ready, I am anxious, let's get this done. 1868, okay. Oh man, look at that landscape. <laughs> what would you name your dog, Chris? That's a clean cape for being traveling on the desert. A very clean cape. Khaleesan, she's got a fella. Kisses him too. Bad Bad off. Go on with Brothers. Well, Mose Harper told us. Mose Harper? Is that old goat still creaking around? Why did somebody bury him? Because he's alive? Let me take your coat for you, Ethan. Oh, coat. Looks like a cape. Okay. Evening, Uncle Ethan. Welcome home, sir. Martin. Yeah, I was just Martin. a stun. Look at that. Sorry for being late, Aunt Martha. Oh my goodness. Hi, I'm Eighth Cherokee and the rest is well. Oh. oh. At least that's what they Whoa, tell he's me. like uh, the last of the Mohicans. So if he's an eight Cherokee, that means that one of his grandparents is Cherokee? The war ended three years ago, boy. It did? Why didn't you come home before now? That's a good question. Oh my goodness, that's a medal. So does he not want to be a soldier anymore? Oh, I love the dog. You see? That coach should have been covered in dust. Aaron, get Martin, will you? Yeah, please go get him. Oh, thank you, sir. Martin. Yes, sir. Raise your right hand. You are hereby voluntary privates of Company A, the Texas Rangers. Faithfully discharge. Hey, can I go with you? Go get my shirt. Shh, boy. You will faithfully discharge your Edwards. Shut up! Without recompense or monetary consideration. Amen. Slavery! Might be that this daughter and old idiot ain't so far wrong. Could be Comanche. Kind words, Ethan. Thank you kindly. <laughs> That's a John Malkovich. I took mine to the Confederate States mm. of America. He was a Confederate. So did you, Sam. Grateful to the hospitality of your rocking chair, ma'am. I love this guy already. Hey, Debbie and Ben Edwards, I'm going to tell Ma on you. But the man is twice her age. 
don't suppose that's normal back then. Look at that. Looks amazing. Mighty fishy about this trail, Uncle Ethan. Don't call me uncle. Yes, sir. Don't need to call me sir either. Nor grandpa, nor Methuselah. I can whoop you to a frazzle. Hold up. What do you want me to exactly. call? Exactly. Name's oh. Oh, it's got a spear. This is a murder rate. Shapes up to scald out either your place or my brother. Well, you should be running back. Shun! <laughs> Why is he taking it so slowly? That farm's 40 miles from here, boy, and these horses need rest and grain. Oh. Oh, he's a very clever man. He knows his business. I like that. Do not hurt the dog. Lucy, we don't need a lamp yet. Let's just enjoy the dusk. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't hurt the dog. Close that shot a bit. My hand. Lucy! Now you get it? You won't make a sound or come back, no matter what you hear. Promise. I promise. God, it was horrible. No, down low. Run. Baby. Oh, my God, that's horrible. Horrible. Oh, my God, the dog. Can somebody please watch the dog? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't look Indian at all. Next time you'll mind your exactly. Uncle Ethan. Thank you kindly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh, his horse is done, right? He was so young. And Star Trek was like 10 years after, less than 10 years after. He looks like a child. Oh, my God, I don't have any tissues here. Don't let him look. Oh, the dog is okay. And what happened to the girl? Lucy! The rag dog, of course. Put an amen to it. And if the girls are dead, don't let the boys waste their lives in vengeance. Promise me, Ethan! Oh, come on, if you're going with us. I guess that's a no can do, ma'am. to the floor what good did that do you by what you preach none but what that commence believes ain't got no eyes he can't enter the spirit land has to wander forever between the winds you get it reverend come on blanket head what does blanket head mean Reason. That's what we came for, ain't it? I thought we're... Ain't that sexy. Alive. You jump them, Comanche. You <laughs> kill me, all right. Well, I say we do it my way, Ethan. And that's an order. Yes, sir. But if you're wrong, don't ever give me another. Nice throw, pitcher. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, man. Signaling them? Oh no, he's signaling his friends. They're flanking you from both sides. See? He's gonna get f sideways. Well, Reverend, looks like you got yourself surrounded. Sideways. 
this guy looks business. I saw Lucy, all right. She was wearing that blue dress and she what was... What you saw wasn't Lucy. What you saw was a buck wearing Lucy's dress. I found Lucy back in the canyon, wrapped her in my... Oh, coat. my goodness, no. Buried her with my own hands. Don't ever ask me. As long as you live, don't ever ask me more. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh my god, this guy's gonna go insane. Oh no. That's a very pretty lady. Marty? Yeah. That <laughs> Yeah, of course. What are you getting so red in the face about? I got brothers, ain't I? Yeah, well I ain't one of them. Exactly. Now as well run around naked. Wouldn't bother me nothing. Me neither. Oh, I gotta go prettier than you. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. Oh! <laughs> there it is. My golly, I forgot. This is like the fifth time he said golly. Good night, Marty. Good night, Lori. Night, Mr. Edwards. Night, Miss Jorgensen. Because she's my... She's your nothing. She's no kin to you at all. So? Uh, where folks took me in, they raised me. That don't make you no kin. So? All right, maybe it don't, but I intend to keep on looking anyway. Oh, Gilly, I was just thinking that maybe it's about time you and me start going steady, huh? Well, Martin, Polly, you and me been going steady since we was three years old. We have? About the time you found out about it. Okay. Oh. Just... Ethan wrote on an hour ago. Now, Lord, don't you understand? She could have killed him. I ain't cut out to be no old maid. Honey, you're I'm like sorry, 16. Lord. Yeah, this guy's been acting weird. Why is he putting so Oh, much... come on now, Ethan. Don't put any more wood in the fire and burn. What is he trying to do? Burn him alive? Comfortable? Ethan, are you all right? Well, I'm just saying good night to you. Is he using him as bait? Oh, my God. Wait! Why, you just staked me out there like a piece of bait? Yeah! You went and built. By golly! A leather? It's for Miss Lori. Two leathers in one year, by golly! <laughs> Mama! That means Mr. Foreman is dead, by golly! Oh, the poor man. Go ahead, Lori. Yeah. You don't understand, you chunkhead. You bought her. You got yourself a wife, Sonny. Oh, no, Ethan, Ethan, you tell her to get on back there. What? <laughs> Come on, Mrs. Polly. Come on, Mrs. Polly. Join our merry crew. Oh, my. How I got myself a wife. So we married a Comanche squall. <laughs> she says her name is Wild Goose, flying in the night sky. But she'll answer to Luke if that pleases you. Oh. Look, if you really want to do some good, why don't you ask her where Scar is? She's 
she hurt you. Oh, she's a spy. Nami. Nami. Nami, sister. Oh, I thought she was a spy. She ain't going back to her family, that's for certain. She took off the way that... You want to follow her? How should I know? She's your wife. Beautiful. How did they do that shot? How did they do that shot? Inside your empty bellies, that's the sense that makes you blanket head. Stop it. What the actual f Ethan? Stop! Whoa. Whoa, 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 what? Oh, he's a widow. Ain't no place I'd rather be than right here. Right now. Oh, no. Gone again, skip to Maloo. Gone again. I mean, he speaks like an idiot, but he can carry a tune, eh? What, you're gonna marry her too? Accidentally? Hey, I'm going out to meet a Comanche named Cicatrice. Never heard of him. Scar. Cicatrice is Mexican for Scar. You stay out of here. Not likely. Oh my goodness, why do I feel this guy's gonna mess it up? His yeah. wife sit on the honest side of his lodge. Oh, he did not marry Debbie, did he? Debbie! Yo, AJ. Oh, look, that's Natalie Wood. This before. <gasps> you think old Scar means to kill us? Got to. We've been asking for it for five years. Five years! Oh, don't you remember me, Debbie? I remember. I'm always. But I've come now, Debbie. These are my people. Stand aside. No, no! Oh. him i mean if he hadn't wanted to shoot her then the other guy wouldn't have seen him as a menace so he wouldn't have shot sarah so that's on him be queef all my property to martin paul uh, he's not a after all but debbie's your blood kin not no more she ain't he is an a <laughs> Yes, yeah, somebody. Can't hardly recognize the sight. Oh, no, please just sing. Just sing, please. Yeah. Hey, you don't suppose they're throwing a party for us, do you? That'll be the day. Oh, no. He's going to get there and see her getting married? 